Hello, beautiful soul. This is Kirsten with Kismet, and welcome to the weekly affirmation. This week's affirmation is one that I actually practice. I practice them all, but this one I really, really practice. And it's been a part of my life for a very, very long time. And I'm super excited to share with you some tips and tools on bringing this affirmation into your life. So it is, it is in silence that I hear my soul. You can see a little meditation statue. Painted this a long time ago, but he's still one of my favorites. It is in silence that I hear my soul. Well, if you're like me, your day is bombarded with outside influences, whether it be the person you wake up next to, uh, your children, the email, the phone, the social media, the news, there's just the radio in the car. There's just this constant barrage of messages, constant barrage of ideas, and a lot of times with all this noise and slightly controlled chaos going on around us, we lose sight of who we are who we are at our soul, and we can't actually hear the messages we have for ourselves. And this can manifest itself in many ways. You could have difficulty focusing, have a hard time making decisions. Perhaps your relationships are a bit more bumpy than you'd like them to be. And all these things can go back to not being connected to your soul, not hearing what your authentic self is trying to tell you. And so it's important each day to infuse moments of silence and to just tune in to what your soul has to tell you. Now you can do this in a number of different ways. I have a couple of favorites. Um, for me, anytime I am trying to get in touch with my inner self, my soul, I have to focus on my breath. And when I focus on my breath, it helps me to get centered quickly. So simply breathing in deeply through my nose, holding it for a second, and out through my mouth. So essentially, in through my nose, hold out through my mouth. Until I feel my shoulders drop and I feel a little bit more like myself. Um, you can do this in the shower in the morning. It's a perfect time um, just to center yourself, listen to the silence, breathe, and just enjoy turning off everything else that's going around you. Um, it could be over your morning coffee. Instead of checking your phone, you can take that moment to breathe in that yummy aroma of whatever you're drinking and take a moment to check in with yourself. How are you feeling today? What's up for you today? Is there something you want to work on? Um, in the car, instead of listening to the radio all the way on your commute, turn it off for a few minutes. Quit the constant, incessant noise that comes from the radio. And again, keep your eyes open. Don't breathe with your eyes closed, but just breathe in and see and be present and touch base with who you are. These moments of silence are just golden. You can do it at work, close your door. You can do it in the ladies room, which is a great place, you know, um, your evening bath, right before you go to bed and your mind is whirling and you don't know how to turn it off, focus on your breath for a moment or two. And that silence will come through, I promise you. So it is in our silence that we hear our soul and the messages that are coming through for us. Help us get clarity on what is important to us, what we need to focus on, what choices we need to make, and what direction our life is going in. So I hope that this affirmation for this week, it is in silence that I hear my soul resonates with you. If you have any comments, questions, insights, please share them below. 
Uh, if you know of someone else who is struggling with chaos in their life, introduce a moment of silence to them. Share this video. I hope that this week unfolds for you in the most amazing way. This is Kirsten with Kismet in Love and Light.